Hi, I'm Jennifer Antunes, and I am a screenwriting emphasis here. Why did you decide to study screenwriting? Honestly, I love telling stories, and it's always been a big passion of mine to just tell stories and explore new worlds in that format, yeah. and that's yeah. what I like to do. I know do. There's, there's a lot of schools in LA, but why this one? When I was in high school, we came on a field trip here, and I love that every room was like its own set in a way, like the pub set, the, um, the little living room area. Yeah, yeah. And I also love that the school gives you opportunities to get internships in the field and you get to learn from professionals who are working in the industry right now. And I think that's great. Do you have any favorite classes here at Columbia College? Every MP history, because <laughs> I just think they're so fascinating. Of course, the writing classes. I love the writing the adaptation class. Was there a specific film that made you want to pursue filmmaking as a career? Yes. Yes? Yes. Um, <laughs> Yentl. Yentl. It's um, Barbara Streisand. She wrote, directed, produced, and starred in the film. And something about it just lit something inside me and I'm like, I need to go to school and tell stories like this. Yeah. Do you have a favorite actress or an actor, maybe? Favorite actress, <laughs> Barbara Streisand. Okay. I know. <laughs> favorite actor is actually Steve Martin. We have rules and regulations. Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko. Is there anyone in particular whose work you admire? Yes, I really admire Tim Burton and Hayao Miyazaki and Spike Lee and Sofia Coppola. So when you get started on your writing, do you have a specific way that you get your inspiration for your characters? It depends on what I'm writing. Um, I can become inspired just by going on a walk outside or if I read a good book or just by a situation that happens to me. I really enjoy classical music. It you helps like me get into music? the groove, mm -hmm. especially Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. Nice. That really gets me um, you know, grooving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Writer's block happens. Um, how do you get out of that? Being in nature clears my mind. Or I like to stay at home and um, play with my birds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they make me think. Yeah. Are there any specific writing styles or genres that you find challenging to write? I think comedy is very hard to write because then you're trying to be funny. Yeah. I can be funny if I'm not trying, right. but when I have to try, it's not easy. It comes off a little different, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So have you tried writing comedy before? I have, and I'm actually in the process of writing um, a feature-length rom-com. Rom cool. <laughs> okay. It's hard to get the comedy, but I think I'm hitting those beats. Okay. Do you have any favorite writing exercises that you do to get you going? I have written little dating profiles for my characters, <laughs> nice. and I like to do that. Um, pressuring myself to write a little short in 30 minutes is something else I like to do to help me. Are you working on anything right now? Yes, I actually am working on several projects right now. Um, I'm a writer on this web series called Life as a Mermaid, and cool. it's really good. You should check it out. I will, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will. And um, I'm also um, writing and co-creating uh, this project with another student at the school. It's a little under wraps right now because we're still figuring it all out, mm -hmm. but it's going to be interesting. Where do you see yourself in three years? Most likely still working on my writing. I was thinking Universal or Warner Brothers are two places I would like to work or focus features. Awesome. I hope that works out for you. Thank I you, really me care. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jennifer, for your time and for giving us your thoughts. And thank you for tuning in to another Student Spotlight. We'll see you next week.